So I was kind of gesturing towards the parry, but I didn't really push it out of the way. The push is important because it off balances your opponent so that your counter is more effective. See how he catches it with his palm? He just kind of, there's a little bit of impact from his hand that cuts out some of the impact of the kick on him. He's like, you're wearing gloves, which makes it a little bit like a pad anyway. So it doesn't hurt your hand to interrupt the kick like that. He's saying his foot isn't helping. His foot helps by stepping out at the same time. So he's taking even more of the impact out by taking that step to the side. I'm asking how to do this when your hands are really high in the guard that he wants. Do you just drop it down? And it's all about timing. So you have your guard up as regular. But then as you see the kick coming, your hand comes down just the same way you would if you were going to parry the teep. He really emphasized this thing that you only ever do the same thing twice and then you change up on the third one because it catches the opponent off guard. Now he's showing some elbow techniques. These were scary. <laughs> See how he's like hooking the hand down? He has a lot of impact. Like he's really hooking the hand. So it kind of jerks me forward. See how it's off balancing me as he grabs it and then the elbow comes over. So there are different schools of thought. There's Yodkun Pan and Karahat both don't hit the arm hard. Instead, they just kind of slip over. Like they don't want to let the opponent know they're coming by impacting the hand. But then Karat and Hippie both hook the arm so hard that they're knocking you off balance or even pulling you into the elbow. But all four, like both schools of thought, the elbow ends up being the same. Look how long his elbow is and how he steps into it. And then when he hooks the arm and comes over, he still angles his elbow as though he's coming through the guard. Oh, God. He just, like, hooks you right into it. And see how he's not off-balancing himself at all because he's not actually reaching for it. So I'm asking, does the opponent have to put their hand out first? And he said, not at all. You can do it from their guard. But see how he brings his elbow up first? Oh. <laughs> and then he puts the spin in. See how he steps across my body with his left leg? So he slaps it down, which causes me actually to fall forward a little bit. And then he comes across my body for that elbow. He's like, you don't practice this elbow on the pads. You practice this when you're playing with people. So you have to have control. So he's saying you practice this with people who have control. You don't practice elbows with beginners. <laughs> Look at how he turns that into two distinct 
mo movements, but they are stitched together into one. So he's saying, you're left-handed, I'm right-handed. So he's showing what to do when you have opposite stances. So he's saying, because I'm southpaw, I'm only going to use my front side like 10%. I want to use my back side 90% because that's where all the power is. So because he knows I'm going to use my left side 90% of the time, he keeps this foot, his foot, in the back ready to block all the time. He keeps his weight on the front because he knows I'm really going to be doing everything from one side. And so he just, because he knows I'm going to kick on that side, he knows how to interrupt me all the time. He's just kicking my standing leg. He's saying that you have many weapons, but they're pretty much all going to be coming from one side. So I'm saying you watch for the opponent's weight to come in the front. And he said not so much. Really what he's focusing on is that because of my stance, he knows which side I'm going to be striking from. This is the part that threw me off. He wants you to look in the opponent's eyes. I cannot do this. But he really, really insisted on it. He's like, if you look the opponent in the eye, you can see the entire picture. You can glance down for a second at what you're going to hit so that you can hit your target. But then you look straight back in the eyes. You don't look at the leg first and like stare at your target. You glance at it for a second and then back up to the eyes. <laughs> See how I'm staring at his hips because that's where I'm going to teep? He knows where I'm going to go because I'm looking at it. But if you just glance down for a second and then back up, you're not giving away what you're going to hit. So he's still talking about left hand versus right hand. He's saying that a left-handed fighter loses to left side strikes because they're not used to it. If they're fighting an orthodox fighter, everything is going to be coming from the right side of an orthodox fighter. So what he's doing is waiting for my power strike and then pushing it to the opposite direction so that I'm open on his left side and when he hits with his left side as a left-handed fighter, I am not used to defending on that side. 